Is a Central Texas school district doing unlawful electioneering? The Attorney General sent a cease and desist letter to the Elgin ISD just east of Austin. His opponents say his action is voter suppression. KXAN's political reporter Phil Prazen found out that this was all about social media. The framed cover in Ross Ramsey's office tells you this isn't exactly a new issue. Texas Weekly asks, do we want the schools in state politics way back in 1931? The co-founder of the Texas Tribune says some people are asking that now. It's an issue that's been going for decades and decades, but the current episode was set off by rising school property taxes all over the state. Friday, Attorney General Ken Paxton sent a cease and desist letter to Elgin ISD with pictures from Superintendent Jody Duran's Twitter account. From the at EISD Superintendent Twitter account, it seems she advocated for Republican candidate Scott Milder in the primary against incumbent Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. Paxton says spending tax dollars against politicians was unacceptable and against the law. Attorney General Paxton's position is that public school leaders can talk about policy like this idea would help or hurt our school, but they can't talk politics like you should vote for this person over another person. The Elgin superintendent disagrees. Superintendent Duran was out of town but sent me an email saying the district has not violated the law with the tweets and she will submit a written response to Paxton explaining why. Ramsey says it's a fine line. You can't use public funds for electioneering. You know, you can use them to promote voting. You can use them to say we're going to help people get to the vo to the polls. You just can't tell them how to vote. A total of five letters have gone to Texas school districts and the AG's office tells KXAN it will be sending more. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Just like the Elgin ISD, the other four districts received a letter because of social media posts. Three of those districts who got the letter last month responded that they had removed the tweets.